Hey guys, my name is Ms. Jessica and this is Ms. Sherry. We're with Franklin Memorial Library and today we're going to share with you our Halloween story time and we have a lot that we're going to show you so we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll see you guys again in a minute, okay? Bye! Bye. I hope somebody hires me soon so I can earn money for a new buck. Ding dong. Go, oh, oh, come in. Are you, you the f person who put the flyer in my d d d door? I sure am. Do you have an odd job for me? Y yes, I need you to get rid of a ghost for me. That's odd. Uh, uh, uh. I wish I were. I'm Mr. Mr. Shutters, and there's a good ghost haunting in my ha haunting my house. It makes me so nervous I can't stop shaking. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll get rid of it for you if you tell me where you live. F -f -f Five sixty Speckle Street. F -f I'm staying at the Holiday Inn until the good ghost is gone. I'll call you there as soon as I get rid of it. F -f -f thank you. I don't believe in ghosts. Some neighborhood kids are probably playing a trick for Halloween. I'd better go to Speckle Street and ask them to stop. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, here's 560 Spectral Street. I'd better go inside and ask those kids to stop scaring Mr. Shutters. Hmm, it, uh, uh, Anybody home? Just me. Uh, uh, it really is a ghost. In the spirit. <laughs> but what are you doing in a nice house like this? I thought haunted houses always had broken windows, loose shutters, and lots of dust and cobwebs. I used to live in a place like that, but I didn't like it. The broken windows made it too cold and drafty and burr. And the loose shutters bang, bang, banging against the house all the time always gave me a headache. And the dust made it hard to keep clean since I wear white all the time. So I decided to haunt a decent house for a change. Here I am. But uh, you can't study. Mr. Shutters doesn't want you here. That's his tough luck. I am not going anywhere. Uh, if I get rid of you, if I don't get rid of you, Mr. Shutters won't pay me the money I need for a new bike. And that's your tough luck. I'm staying. That's what you think. Hmm, let me see. But I, I'll come up with a plan to get rid of you. I doubt it. I know. I'll tackle you and drag you out. <laughs> No, you won't. You can't touch a ghost, silly. That's right. I hadn't thought about that. Right. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll fix it so you won't want to live here anymore. And how are you going to do that? Oh, let's see. I know. I'll smash the windows to make it cold and drafty. Um, and, and, and I can loosen the shutters so they bind against the house and... and I, I'll bring in lots of dust and cobwebs to make the place absolutely filthy. I don't think Mr. Shutters would like that. Rats, you're right. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm here to stay. Na, 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 na. Oh, I know. I'll pay you to leave. I'll give you 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents? <laughs> nope. Uh, a, a dollar? <laughs> nope. Try again. All right, well, uh, I know five dollars. I wouldn't leave not for a million billion dollars. Ghosts have no use for money. Oh, uh, rats. I hadn't thought about that. Hmm. You might as well just go ahead and give up, kid. Never. I will take a break. Sometimes singing helps me solve my problems. So let's see. Hmm. What will I do now? Mm, 
<clears throat> oh, I know. This old man, he played one. He played, no, he stopped. No, stop. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, he played knick-knack on my thumb. Oh, you're hurting my ears, please. Knick-knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. Please, no more. This old man went rolling no. home. Is he, is he gone? Whoa! Oh, I think I just made a scientific discovery. Ghosts don't appreciate good music. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Bye! Boys and girls, I have a story today that I'd like to tell you about the noisy haunted house. Once there was a spider who lived in a noisy house, and it was a haunted house. Now you can help me tell this story because see, there were some creatures that lived in the house, like there were three ghosts that lived there. One was a papa ghost, was a daddy ghost. So if you're listening and you're in a classroom, then let's say all the boys out there, you can be the daddy ghost. And you could go practice going, every time I say the daddy ghost, you go, ooh. All right, now there was also a mama ghost. And so all the girls out there, they can be the mama ghost. They, they can go, ooh. Then there was a baby ghost. Now, let's say the teacher can be the baby ghost, and the baby ghost goes, boo, boo, boo. Okay, so you got your parts. All the boys out there, you're the, the daddy ghost, and you say, ooh. And the mama ghost, all the girls go, ooh. And the teacher goes, boo, 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 and the baby ghost. All right, so are you ready to get started with the story? Well, once there was a spider who lived in the house, and she just was, t it was just too noisy, she thought, because of the ghost. Because at night she would hear the daddy ghost go, woo, come on boys, woo. And the mama ghost, all the girls go, woo. And teacher, the baby ghost would go, boo, boo, boo. Well, she just decided that it was just too noisy in that house. And she got to thinking and she thought, something's got to be done. So she goes, to the wise old owl to ask his opinion as to what he could she could do. So she goes to the tree and she goes, creepy crawly, creepy crawly, creepy crawly, out the door. And she goes to the tree where the wise old owl is. And she says, wise old owl, my house is just too noisy because the daddy ghost goes, woo. And the mama ghost goes, woo. And the baby ghost goes, boo, boo, boo. He said, do you have something I can do so it will be quieter? The wise old owl thought a moment and said, hmm, I know. They'll get you some bats and put in there and see what that does. So she takes bats. He says, yes, bats. So she said, all right. So she goes out and she goes creepy crawly, creepy crawly, creepy crawly, and she gathers some bats up and she puts them in the house and they fly way up in the rafters. But then when it becomes dark, the bats go eek, 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 eek. And Papa Ghost goes, whoa. And Mama Ghost goes, whoo. And Baby Ghost goes, boo, boo, boo. It was still just too noisy for the spider. So the spider thought, this isn't working. So the next day, she goes back out to ask the wise old owl again, what can I do? And there she goes, creepy crawly, creepy crawly, creepy crawly. And she goes to the wise old owl. And she says, that's not working. The bats go, ee, ee, ee. And Papa Ghost goes, woo. And Mama Ghost goes, woo. And baby goes, go boop, boop, boop. I said, it's just too noisy. What do I do now? Wise old owl thought a moment and said, hmm, why don't you get yourself some cats and put the cats in there? He said, cats? All right, I'll get some cats. 
So she takes the cats and then she goes and she goes creepy crawly, creepy crawly, creepy crawly back to the house. And she gathers some black cats up and she puts the cats in the house. Well, that didn't work because the cats went Ow! and then the bats went ee, 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 ee. and Papa Ghost would go and baby ghost would, uh, and mama ghost would go, woo, and baby ghost would go, boop, boop, boop. Now she got the thing and she said, oh, this just isn't working. So she goes back to the wise old owl the next day, crippy crawly, crippy crawly, crippy crawly, and she goes to the wise old owl and says, this isn't working. The house is noisier than ever. Said because, because the cats go, yeah all night and the bats go eek, 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 eek. and then papa ghost goes Ooh. and mama ghost goes Ooh. and baby ghost goes boo 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 said so what do i do and she he thought and said hmm i know get you some witches right on a broom and come and put them in the house see what happens he says, witches? He said, yes, witches. Bye. And there she goes back to the house. Crippy crawly, crippy crawly, crippy crawly, back to the house. And she gets and invites some witches to come. Well, that was even worse because the witches would ride on the group. <laughs> and they would run through the air and they would hunt. Then the Papa Ghost and Papa Ghost would go, ooh. And Mama Ghost would go, woo! And Baby Ghost would go, boop, boop, boop. And then the cats would go, ow! And the bats would go, ee, ee, ee! And the witches would go, ah! And so it's just, it isn't working. So the next morning, Spider goes back to the wise old owl and goes, creepy crawling, creepy crawling, creepy crawling. And says, this just isn't working. Nothing I've done helps. What do you suggest now? He says, hmm, go back to your house and chase the cat off. Let the witch fly out. And then also take the bats out and see what happens. So she's, okay, pick me crawling, pick me crawling, pick me crawling. She's running back to the house this time. She gets back to the house and she opens the doors and windows and says, Ow, 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 witch, go out. And the witch flies out the door and says, Cats, 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 cats. And then the bats come flying out. Eek, 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 eek. All that's left is Papa goes going, Ooh. And Mama goes going, Ooh. And Baby goes going, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, said the spider. Oh, it's so quiet now. I think that we could all live together, me and the ghost. Then she decided that the house wasn't quite so noisy after all. We lived happily ever after in the haunted house. Hey guys, this is Jessica. Um, I'm going to read you guys a story today. Today we'll be reading Miss Smith and the Haunted Library by Michael Garland. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Give me just a second. All right. Zach stared out of the classroom window at the dreary fall morning as he waited for his favorite teacher to arrive. Suddenly, Miss Smith burst through the door. Good morning, class. We're going to visit the library today. There's someone special who I want you to meet. Zach smiled when Miss when Smith picked up the incredible storybook before heading out the door. The library was, was right down the block from school. Zach warily eyed the dark stone building as they walked single file up the sidewalk. The creaky door swung open and they tiptoed inside. Class, Miss Smith said, this is our librarian, Virginia Creeper. Zach stared in shock. Blue hair, pale skin, eyes. He hadn't been expecting this. 
Hello, Miss Creeper said in a high-pitched, squeaky voice. How can I help you today? This is the season for spooky stories. Do you have any suggestions? Miss Smith asked. Oh, yes, the librarian replied. Quite a few. I might find some of them in your incredible storybook. Miss Smith handed the book to Virginia Creeper. The librarian opened it and said, I'll just read a little from my favorite scary stories. Miss Creeper began to read about a dark, haunted wood. Zack shivered. Then, with a thunder of hooves, the headless horseman leaped out of the book. The children's mouths hung open in disbelief. Virginia Creeper started reading again, and the hound of Bakersville pounced from the book. More reading added the clinking and rattling of the chains of Marley's as Marley's ghost appeared. And then new stories brought out the hunchback of Notre Dame, Frankenstein, and the Count Dracula. The class started to cling to Miss Smith. The great black horse snorted and stomped his hooves. Frankenstein groaned, and Virginia Creeper just kept on reading as a flock of ghosts flew from the book. When Captain Wilson, Witch of the West, entered the room, Zack wondered if he should run for the door. The scary creatures were crowding the room, but that didn't stop Virginia Creeper from reading. Rumpelstiltskin, the Queen of Hearts, and the Big Dark Wolf came from among the others. Zack looked up and saw the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk bump his head on the ceiling. Next, the room was filled with the eerie sounds of whistling and burbling. Virginia Creeper read on as the flaming-eyed Jabberwocky arrived in a puff of smoke. Then, the strangest thing happened. Virginia Creeper stopped reading and started to pass out cookies and apple cider to the children and the characters. The mood changed, and to Zack's amuse amazement, a party started. All the creatures seemed happy to be at the library. The headless horsemen gave horsey rides and the kids lined up. Someone brought out a ball and played fetch with the hound of Bakersville. Dracula told jokes. The giant kittens took up the kids and lifted them high in the air. Everyone was enjoying it. Scary now. Virginia's creeper happy smiled. She smiled around when she looked out the window and saw the seniors coming up the walk. Oh my, said Miss Creeper, I almost forgot. We can't see this, it will give the seniors such a fright. Go and tidy up the rest, I'll have the door in the library in a few minutes. Virginia Creeper blocked the impatient odor from entering the library. Overturned chairs and straightened the bookshelf. Outside, the seniors were getting back. Too silly to notice. Can I help? Zack asked Miss Smith. She handed the incredible storybook to Zack. Remember, Miss Smith said, we have to finish each story and read the last page of each tale. And while I deal with this mess, Zack opened up, up Zack opened up the book and quickly finished all the stories one by one. The puzzled book club burst into the room. Just Okay, class, it's time to check out your book. The big front desk. Everyone thanked Virginia Creeper from before marching down the library steps and heading back to school. With borrowed books under their arms, the children were looking forward to reading more about all the characters they had just met. Zach smiled and wondered what they would read tomorrow. The end.